So the rural wages uh, over the first two years increased by 8%. Uh, over time, my guess is, now I haven't looked at the data uh, specifically you know, for the group that I have been studying, these households, but uh, over time, the increase over uh, between 2007, 8, and 9, 10, the increase is close to 27% in the rural areas. But it, has not, it had not affected urban wages until 2008. Now, I haven't looked at numbers past, but urban, uh, rural wages have had a massive increase. And these are real increases in rural wages, which is also, in some sense, feeding into some of the disturbing trends when you look at uh, self-employment. Because if you see rural wages increasing at the magnitude of, at which it has, it is bound to increase labor costs for every um, enterprise which employs labor. So it has you know, increased the input cost. And um, this is where I think we have to talk about the impact of the NREGS on uh, enterprise development. And um, we've just concluded a study of the uh, graduation program. It's the ultra poor graduation program, which is being piloted across eight different countries. And this is basically supported by the CGAP and the Ford Foundation. And uh, I finished the, uh, uh, you know, the first pilot evaluation together with Jonathan Modak. And uh, we find that um, you know, the scheme of trying to you know, elevate ultra poor into micro entrepreneurs did not really have a long term impact uh, on income consumption or you know, asset accumulation of these households. And so we went back and started digging the data to see why is it that a scheme like this, which is really about a significant asset transfer to the households with an enterprise uh, relevant training. Why is it that it has no long-term impact? And we find that it's because of the rising wages.